Welcome to the next golf course in my trip around Monmouthshire. I'm playing West Monmouthshire. Now due to some politician drawing a line on a map, it's now actually in Gwent. That politician can go and do one. This is the West Monmouthshire. I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, look at this day. This is the 7th of September. It is wall to wall blue sky. This is going to be fun. The opening hole is a short par four. A little dog leg to the right. You can't see a great deal. But it's fairly easy to uh, knock a three wood down over the stick. A little bit skanky, but that is the opening tee shot of the day. Followed very swiftly by the first mistake of the day. This rough is quite bristly and I'm sat right up and I really should be going with a bigger club here. And that's uh, completely underneath the ball. First chip of the day, go with the sandwich. I just want to pop this on and it's certain to roll out to the flag. stopped that really stopped I've played a lot of hilltop courses and usually the fairways are a bit sparse and the greens are a bit firm but this is the exact opposite of that the fairways when I actually hit one very soft very springy they're really good quality turf of the fairways and the greens are lovely. They're soft and they are receptive. Now if I'd known that on the first tee, I would have probably played this hole better. Second hole is a short par three. We're going back down the wind here. You can only see the top of the flag, so um, just gotta hit a straight one. And that's a straight one. Yes, got it straight back. Third is a par five. As you can see, it's uphill. And this is where we get onto the hilltop proper, so to speak. Now there's a number of holes up here once we get up on top, which just run parallel to one another. So there's gonna be a few tee shots where you can't quite see where you're going. But because these are parallel and just going backwards and forwards, and they're all more or less dead straight. And once you're on top, you can look left and right and see them all. It's not that difficult to figure out where you gotta go from the various tee boxes. Yeah, I'd like to try a fairway. I haven't tried one yet. I forgot to mention that this is the highest golf course in Great Britain. I've only played three holes and it's amazing. It's over 120 years old. It's all natural. This is brilliant.
pitching wood. This says it all about the greens really. I've come in with a sand wedge, I've landed on this downslope, and it's just stuck like glue. Now on any other hilltop course I've played, that would have been firing through the back, so uh, these greens are good. This greens feel absolutely amazing under the feet and uh, a little bit slow on that putt, but these are good, these are real good. That's gone miles, at last. Right, let's talk money. The green fee today is 15 pounds. Yeah, I know, it's just 15, one, five pounds. That's amazing, especially when they throw in all of this for free. Right. You doing a video, yeah? Yeah, I do videos. Who for? YouTube, I do it for myself. You do it for yourself, yeah? Yeah. What's the name? The Hairy Golfer. The Hairy Golfer. Although I shaved the beard off today. Right. What do you think of it so far? Fantastic. Yeah? There's a spot of water for your second shot you've got to get over, but it's, it's not really in play. I'm aiming down the left here because the wind is out of the left. And this only just comes in, which I'm very grateful for. Can I just clarify? I've had my first golf lesson, I've had one practice session of one round of golf, which was a bit iffy. And this one, you know, I'm going to hit some bad shots today. Yeah, it could all go wrong very quickly. Well, you've seen me hit some bad ones already, haven't you? So... Yeah, you need to hit it harder, Sly. Yeah, I need to hit the putts a little harder too. And I had the line, I just didn't have the pace. So, so yeah, this, this having golf lessons is gonna be an eight or nine week process. So uh, I'm not expecting miracles straight away. But, you know, I'm not at work. These, these places out here in the, in the sticks, you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, they're perfect days to come out and play. Of course it's empty. I've almost got the whole place to myself. But guy who's coming up the the whole parallel to what I've just played, he came over and asked me what I was doing and and uh, I may have picked up a new subscriber. <laughs> anyway, I got quite a few new subscribers recently, so thank you very much and welcome to the channel. Now this is a great little par three because the green is very long. So it could be anywhere from three clubs from front to back. And I imagine from the competition tee, it plays a lot harder 
than 120. But that isn't the best thing I've ever done. Slapped it. Yeah, it's come back off the front. Look at the swing on this one. Let's say from the competition tee and a back flag. This could be really interesting. Yeah, just slap the tee shot. It's funny, Sunday I was hitting the ball a lot better, but in the wrong direction. Today I'm hitting it in the right direction, but it's just... Yeah, it's just lazy, isn't it? Right, so I've been playing a lot of competitions recently, and my uh, handicap index has gone from 4.7 to 5.0 to 4.6, and on Sunday to 4.8. I get five shots. Now, it's, it's funny with this WHS. Everywhere I've gone, i got five shots. It doesn't seem to have given me an extra one or taken one off anywhere. I'm just five, five, five. So what was the point? This is stroke one. It's a long par four. So I better hit a decent one. Job done. Right, I got 139. I can just feel the breeze coming off the shoulder of this hill here, so I'm gonna go with a seven iron. That was a bit toey, I think it's short. Now I don't expect to tame stroke index one on any golf course, but it's a bit sad that when you had the chance to actually par the hole, you kind of make a mess of it. I guess that's why it's stroke index one. The eighth, 282, downhill, downwind, driver. And that's a bomb. I am not going to celebrate missing an eagle putt that short and getting a tap in birdie. No way. I've just put that golf ball back in the bag and I've got another one out. Obviously it's not lucky. How can you drive 282 yards to four and a half feet and then miss? Anyway, this is the ninth so I'm going to say goodbye here. Got a dog leg to the right over an awful lot of out of bounds and very large quarry. So uh, wish me luck and I'll see you on the back nine.